Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, Praise the Lord saints. Praise the Lord. Indeed, a great day to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. Let's give God some right now praise, but he is surely worthy. Hallelujah. As we are in the Advent season, we're giving glory to God for that purpose. Our Jesus Christ was born. Hallelujah. But we want you to just usher in the spirit right now. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Feel his presence right now. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Come on now. Give me you. I hope I'm not too late. Come on now. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Yes, Lord, yes. Lord. Give me you, everything else can wait. Lord, give me you, hope I'm not too late. Oh, 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 I'm not too late.
of you my cloudy days are gone I can sing to you this song I just want to say that I love you more than anything oh, oh, I just want to say that I love you more than anything. Come on, praise team. I lift. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. You reign, you reign, yes, Lord. you reign upon on the throne. For you are God. For you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. I just want to say that I love you, God. I just want to say that, that I love you more than anything. I love 
you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Yeah, I love you. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore your name. I and I just want to tell you, oh, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. If you didn't have time this week, I want you to take this moment. Oh, say, I love you. I love you with all of my being. I worship and adore your name. I worship and adore I just want to tell you, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. More than anything, more than my job, more than my car, more than my mother, my father. I love you. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I worship, I worship. I I just want to tell you, Lord. Oh, Lord, I love you. 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 I love you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I worship and adore you. I love you, Jesus. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you.
I worship and adore you. Yes, Lord. I just want to tell you, Come on, Latrina. Lord, I love you more than anything. Hallelujah. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Praise him. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Y'all, that's a powerful statement. Said, I love you, Jesus, more than anything. And those of us who have children, glory, y'all know how we love our children. But do you love him more than your children? Hello. Hallelujah. Do you love him more than your spouse? Do you love him more than the material things that he has provided for us? Hallelujah. We are saying, but do we really love him? Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus, more than anything. More than anything. More than anything, y'all. Those are just not words. Mm, that's something to really ponder about. Do you love him more than anything? Hallelujah. More than my mother, my father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You may be seated in his presence. Hallelujah. I love him more. More than anything. More. More than life. Do you love him more than life? Hallelujah. Glory. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Scripture tells us don't quench the spirit. Let God have his way. We don't quench the spirit. Let God have his way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. God, we praise him every chance we get because we don't know when it's going to be our last. Hallelujah. Give an honor to the spirit of Christ that's in this place, to our pastor, our first lady, and everyone that's in the sanctuary, those that are with us on our virtual. We just say thank you, Lord, for allowing us to see this day, another day, a day we've never seen before and will never see again. Hallelujah. This is our last communion in 2021. Hallelujah. He didn't have to do it, but he did, y'all. And I'm thankful. I'm grateful. St. Stephen is a dynamic community of believers making disciples for Christ, for the transformation of the world through nurture, outreach, and witness. Simply stated, we are the church in the now. Come on and put your hands together for Jesus. 
and our hands for our pastor as he's come forth. Uh, good morning to all of God's people. Yes. We thank God and uh, thank you, God. for being here today yes, and to Lord. tell him we love him yes, Lord. with all our hearts. Yes, Amen. Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. David said, I will bless the Lord and I want to steal from him. I will yes. bless the Lord right. at all times and his praise yes. shall be in my mouth continually. We thank God for, again, for you and our virtual congregation as well. This is uh, Advent season, and we're going to, I think, Ms. Carter, are you ready to help us out uh, this morning? <laughs> Sister Staley and y'all work that out uh, with our Advent candles and message before we get started with our, our uh, call to worship. Thank you, praise team. You always do a wonderful job. Bless you, Minister Clement, and to our musicians. God bless you all for blessing the atmosphere with your praise and worship, ushering in uh, the Holy Spirit, power and presence in our lives. Amen, saints of God. As we continue in our Advent season, our second candle we would like today is the candle of preparation or peace. It indicates when John said when he came out of the wilderness, there is a voice shouting in the wilderness telling all of us, prepare ye the way of the Lord's coming. So today we light our candle for preparation and peace. know that the, the light the candle she is lighting now is in reference to hope that we light last Sunday amen amen thank you sister Carter uh, thank you evangelist Staley for uh, participating in our Advent season to remind us that the Lord was coming yes. is he amen, amen. We are now going to have a hymn or song of praise by our praise team. Y'all singing real good, amen. Y'all singing real good, amen. And sing your blessings. As you know, we're in the Advent Christmas season. So we're going to sing one this morning that everybody knows, amen. Amen. Put your hands together. Jesus, oh, what a wonderful child. Yeah, I'm thinking Jesus, Jesus, oh, what a wonderful child, Jesus, Jesus, so holy, meek and mild, new light, new hope to all he brings, this son, to the angels sing, glory, glory, glory. So holy, meek and mild, new life, new hope to all he brings. This son to the angels sing, glory, glory, glory to the newborn king. Well, he was heralded by the angels, born a lonely manger. Virgin mother and Joseph was his earthly father. Three wise men traveled from afar. They were guided by the shining star to see King Jesus where he laid in a manger filled with hay. Hey, 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 
Jesus, 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 oh, 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 one of a child. Sing, Jesus, mm, Jesus, so holy, meek and mild, new life, new hope, to all he bring this son, to the angels sing, glory, glory, glory to the new born. He was herald by the angels. He was born a lowly manger. You know, Mary was his virgin mother. Oh, and Joseph was his earthly father. Well, three wise men traveled, traveled from afar. They were guided by that shining star just to see King Jesus. Where he laid in a manger that was filled with hay. Oh, 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, it's a wonderful oh, child. Oh, a wonderful child. Jesus, Jesus, yeah, Jesus. So holy, meek and mild. New life and hope to all he brings. He will listen to the angels. Glory, glory, glory to the new. Let's break it down. Whoa. I'm singing Jesus, 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 wonderful counselor, Jesus, Mary's baby, Jesus, Jesus, yeah, Jesus, Jesus, I love the call of Jesus. I love the call of Jesus. I love the call of Jesus. Mary, little baby, Jesus. born in a manger. Jesus. What a manger! Jesus. What a manger! Lonely manger. I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about Jesus. I love the call of 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 Jesus. I love the call. Call him Jesus, Mary's baby. Jesus, Mary's baby. Jesus, Mary's baby. Jesus, I'm talking about Jesus. Jesus, talking about Jesus. Jesus, talking about Jesus. Jesus, talking about Jesus. Jesus, talking about Jesus. Born in a manger. Jesus, born in a manger. Jesus, oh, I'm singing Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, 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 I want to. Jesus, 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 oh, so holy, meek and mild, oh, new life in hope to all he brings, oh, just listen to the angels sing, I'm singing glory, 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 I'm singing glory, yes, Lord, glory, I'm singing glory, glory, glory to the new. Oh, Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, glory to the new. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus, my bed and buried. Good God, I'm at it. Jesus, my heart fixer. Jesus, 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 just keep calling. Yeah, my problem solved. Jesus, Jesus, talking about Jesus, Mary Luther, Mary Luther, baby, talking about Jesus. The healer, the Jesus, the water walker, talking by Jesus, mind regulator. Anybody know him? Anybody know him? Talking by Jesus, talking by, talking by, talking by Jesus, 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 Jesus. Anybody know him? Anybody know him? Talking by Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, y'all better stop that. Good God, Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, Glory, 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 glory to the new. Hallelujah. I love to talk about it. I love to talk about it. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, you can talk about who you want to talk about. But I love to talk about. Glory to God. I dare you to talk about. If you talk about him, won't he show up? You better not call that name if you don't mean it. Because if you mean it, won't it show up? Good God Almighty. Talking about Jesus. Oh, praise his name. And that's who we ought to be. That's who the church ought to be talking. Never mind you and you and you. <laughs> By Jesus. Ooh. Wonderful Savior. Hallelujah. Humble King. Hey! Good God yes, He is. Yes, He is. He's all that. I suppose that He's my all in all. Good God Almighty. Let us pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. You pray as I pray. We need the Lord. We need the Lord. And all the chaos, all uh, the evil, all that's lurking, all the danger uh, we are surrounded by, we need the Lord. And so the only way to get God to come into our presence and and to be our defender is to ask him by prayer. Father, we just come honoring you and glorifying you. And Lord, there are not enough words that we can utter to tell you thank you and to tell you how you are. You are amazing. You are awesome. You you're the God of audacity. You're the God that sends us your love and grace and mercy and peace and brand new mercies every day. Thank you. Our human limitations can never define you, but we receive what your word tells us who you are. You're the God that's almighty. You are the I am that I am. Hallelujah, God. You're the God that declared that I am your healer. Who, hallelujah, who heals you of your sicknesses and diseases. Praise God. Hallelujah. You're the high God, the great God, the mighty God. The God of fire. Yes. Oh, praise your holy and righteous name. The God of truth. Yes. The God that keeps his promises. The God who oh, praise your name. The God whose thoughts far above ours. God, we thank you. For having us in mind in such a way that you gave us yourself. In Jesus, your son and our savior, you 
you showed up in Jesus. Hallelujah. And Lord, we feel your presence. We know you're here. We know you're here. Oh, yes. We know that you're here right now. We feel the fire burning right now. Ah, we feel you right now. And we thank you. We don't have enough thanks. November is not enough to give you thanks. Oh, God, the whole year is not enough to give you thanks. But we thank you for being all that you are. We invite you now, and Lord, we know you're already here, but by, by spiritual protocol, we invite you. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Holy Ghost. Come, anointed. Come, truth. From on high. Come. Where your people are waiting. Come. Come touch us. Come speak Lord. Where your children are listening. Come. Come be God to us. Oh God we need you today. And like we did yesterday. And the day, day before. And, and if you send tomorrow. We'll need you then. We live it in perilous times. And God, we pray for your protection and your shield for us. Oh God, build a hedge around all of us, our family, our friends, our neighbors and neighbor, neighbor children. And oh God, keep the enemy at bay. Let you angels keep watch over us. We need you. Be our guide. Guide our feet. Order our steps in your word. Thank you for this time to worship you and praise you in spirit and in truth. And let us not leave this place until we have done that. Or continue to do it. In Jesus' name. Oh God. Somebody needs you right now? Show up. Somebody needs you virtually? Right now. Show up, Lord. Hear our prayers now and thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We're going to have our scripture reading by uh, Evangelist Staley at this time. Amen. The scripture reading will be coming from Isaiah, the 62, uh, 62nd chapter, excuse me. Isaiah 62, verses 10 through 12. And it read as thus, go through, go through the gates, prepare the way for the people, build up, build up the highway, take out the stones, lift up a banner for the people. Indeed, the Lord has proclaimed to the end of the world, say to the daughter of Zion, surely your salvation is coming. Behold, his reward is with him and his works before him. 12, and they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you shall be called, sought out, a city not Hallelujah. forsaken. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God, amen. Thank you, Sister Staley, for the reading of God's word to God's people. We're now going to have our announcements by Mrs. Gail. Jarvis. Good morning again. Amen. Please tag, like, or share on Facebook this morning this anointed service so others can feel the presence of the Lord. Intercessory prayer every Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. via conference call. Word Lovers Bible Study every Wednesday via Zoom at 7 o'clock p.m. Our Wi-Fi now is St. Stephen. I'm St. Stephen Free Wi-Fi. Password, God is good. Attention St. Stephen Church family and our virtual audience. 
We are in our final month for accepting funds for the church anniversary. The deadline is December 26th, and the anniversary categories are as follows. The honorable mention, $152, this is the year of the church. Bronze, $200, silver, $250, gold, $500, diamond, $750, platinum is $1,000. You can see any member of the finance committee or you can cash app us and go to our website. On behalf of Sister Lorraine Muhammad and the Gold Star Committee, she would like to thank all of us for the continued support for the Gold Star Stay at Home Tea Fundraiser. And today at 6 o'clock p.m., we will be sipping our tea. Donations are still being accepted this morning. So please see any member of finance to pay for the Gold Star Committee. As well, on next Sunday, I'm sorry, next Saturday, the Gold Star will be hosting a parade here at the church December 11th at 11 o'clock a.m. So please drive through for some music, gifts, and pictures. Secret Pals, please join us if you can. If not, please see Sister Lorraine, Sister Linda, or Sister Tracy to drop off your gift by Friday. Thank you for your support and love. This will be the culmination of our Gold Star program on next Saturday, December 11th, here at the church for the, for the Gold Star drive through parade at 11 o'clock a.m. Families are now being accepted for the Christmas Village. Go to our website, and today is the deadline. We are well above 30 plus families, so we still have a few uh, remaining openings, but today is the final day. So the families will be selected after reviewing the criteria process. The families will be notified, and the Christmas Village will be held here at St. Stephen, December 18th from 11 o'clock to four. Volunteers are still needed. Our donation solicitation letters are available. You can see Sister Mitchell or Mr. Brother, Mr. <laughs> Brother Michael Jarvis. <laughs> The meeting will be held today. The meeting that was scheduled for last Sunday at 6.30 via Zoom will be held today to give updates for the Christmas Village. We encourage everyone to please come on this afternoon so we can get an update as to where we are with the Christmas Village. You can still send your donations via Church Cash app, place in the envelope designated St. Stephen Christmas Village, or mail to the church post office box. This is coming from Sister Janelle Mitchell. Good morning. We would like to announce that our flowers are still being taken. And this month, for the month of December, we are doing altar flowers with poinsettias for the holidays. You can donate one in honor of or in memory of. You can bring to the church next Saturday, December 11th, from 10 to 11, or just call Sister Crystal Jackson, and she will make arrangements so she can get your Ponsetia for the Christmas holiday. This will be done during the month of December. Instead of the altar flowers, they are asking for us to do that. So please contact them. S Sister Pearl Thompson of Next Gen One is requesting Christmas videos for children and she's also doing the Christmas store competition again. The parents are aware of the videos that the deadline is next Sunday, December 12th. Get the Christmas videos in December 12th, and the deadline for the door competition is December 15th. Doors must focus on the birth of Jesus. On the birth of Jesus. Prizes will be awarded, members, and non-members are encouraged to participate. There are two categories. There will be judges for our members and there will be judges for our non-members. Again, the videos are due December 12th and the competition, door competition, December 15th. And Sister Angie will give everyone the directions. Our newsletter for January is now in the process of being put together. Deadline for articles to be submitted for the January newsletter is December 
31st. Do not wait until December 31st. If you have submissions that can start immediately, please do so. Sister Angie, she's also asking for pictures along with your articles. So again, December 31st is our deadline for next month's news article, newsletter that will be submitted by the media ministry. The Daily Bread is available and they can be picked up from the ushers at the end of service or at the back of the church. December 17th at 4 o'clock p.m. is the Gloria Rickenbacker Hutto Day in Orangeburg for the Rickenbacker Excel. And the organization consists of Gloria R. Hutto, Lavinia Robinson, Mr. William Green, Troy Robinson, and Cletus Robinson. As you know, due to COVID, they do not have the Black Tie fundraiser, so they will be hosting a balloon release in beautiful downtown Orangeburg. This will be 25 years of raising money for Alzheimer's research in honor of the late Saul Rickenbacker Sr., their loving father and grandfather. They're inviting everyone to help support this cause. And if anyone has a loved one that has Alzheimer's or has passed from the complications of Alzheimer's, they're asking them to participate and donations are welcome. There will be a keynote speaker and entertainment. Please bear purple and bring a lawn chair. Children must be monitored. There will be social distancing. The location is Williams and Williams Law Firm parking lot, which is 1281 Russell Street. For more information, contact Ms. Gloria Hutto or Ms. Lavinia Robinson. Deck the party. I'm sorry, deck the pantry. December 1st through December 12th, 2021. Save the Children Partnership with Wisdom. They will be collecting food supplies, donations for Connie Maxwell Children's Home. The box is in the back of the church. So next Sunday will be the deadline to make donations, liquid laundry detergent, small Gatorades. And since next Sunday is the deadline, if you would like to come up at the end of service and just browse this flyer, you can. Again, this is being done on behalf of Wisdom. Ms. Iona Burton, on behalf of Wisdom, will be doing a mini journey, journey with the wise men immediately after service this morning. Ms. Iona Burton, on behalf of Wisdom, will be doing a mini journey with the wise men immediately after service this morning. Don't forget, however, we are still accepting flowers for the altar for first and third Sundays. Please let Ms. Crystal Jackson know, and she will make sure that she get the flower for you. Happy birthday to all born in the month of December. Wisdom members, Ms. Rebecca Harrison will be celebrating a birthday on tomorrow. And Brother Jerry, Wisdom member, will be celebrating a birthday on Tuesday. Happy birthday to all. Please remember to keep all sick and shut in members in your prayers as well as bereaved families our official thank you will be coming from the funeral home on behalf of the late Mr. Daniel Sister Jr. But as a family member, we would like to thank you officially for your prayers and concerns and heartfelt acts of kindness that you showed during our time of bereavement. At this time, we will now turn it over to Pastor Carter. Thank you, Sister Jarvis, uh, for the uh, announcements. Let us govern ourselves. According to all the announcements we have heard, uh, we are asking that uh, you, we be faithful to uh, the things that are coming up in uh, Christmas Village and, and the wisdom, uh, people of wisdom ministry um, next Sunday and, and all of those things that uh, we have heard. I can't go over all of them. My mind does not capacitate that fast. <laughs> but thanks. Thank you. You Sister Jarvis, and let us be faithful to our, the askings. Uh, to um, the Sistrunk fa uh, family, we continue to keep you in prayer. There are a number of people that uh, need prayer. Y'all know Tuesday morning is our prayer time, but today and yesterday and tomorrow is always prayer time for people. We also want to recognize and uh, ask for prayer for Miss Elizabeth uh, Mac. Mac, yes, thank you, Miss Mrs. Uh, Elizabeth Mac and um, Mr. Bobby Mac, uh, in their loss as well. And so, let us keep praying for these families. 
We are down to um, a song of praise. Oh yeah, tithing. Let me get that. Let me get that out the way. Sorry about that. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Again, Amen for uh, reminding us of uh, to give to the Lord. I want to, as a witness, as a testimony, I want to tell you. This is true. It's been true since I began to give to the Lord. You know, if, as soon as you give, you know, when this happened for me, and I can't talk about y'all. But as soon as I release it, God releases. That's the truth. I'm not lying. As soon as I release it, I mean, he sent it right back. Sometimes double and triple it. Amen. My, my wife sitting right there. She'll tell you. As soon as I, as soon as I let it go. My, God is good. That's all I'm going to tell you. And you don't have to believe me. Try him. In fact, he's, he said that. Try try me. Amen. Praise God. And so I want to say what the, I want to read the words of Jesus. He said, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth. Where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through, but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through, nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The implication is, if you got your mind on the Lord, if you praying, if you're stacking it up in your account in heaven. God will give you down here in your accounts. It's the truth. Amen. God, and Paul says he, God will store. He will restore your seed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Jesus said it this way. Give and it shall be. Not might be. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for another opportunity and the privilege to give to you. You, we are glad to give. We are joyful givers. And Lord, we know and believe and trust your word, oh God, that says that there is a return, uh, Lord, in giving unto you, Lord. We pray, God, that you will rebuke the devourer, oh God, and that you will restore our seed, oh Lord, store our seed, Lord, in Jesus' name, some 30, some 60, some 100. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and bless now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you for your giving and unto the Lord and to uh, this church called St. Stephen. Now we're down to a song of praise and uh, from our praise team. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Yeah. This is my mind. I 
I'm gonna let it shine. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Put your hands together. What do you know about Jesus? He's alright. What do you know about Jesus? He's alright. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. 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 Talking about power in the blood. Talking about power in the blood. Soul saving power in the blood. Soul saving power in the blood. There is 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 power, power, wonder working power in the blood. In the blood of the Lamb. Is power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Yep. Hallelujah! Yeah, wonder working power. Oh, yes, it is. Hallelujah! Wonder working power. Work things out for our, yes, for our good. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, our text today comes out of Isaiah 35. Right. Amen. Thank you, praise team. Yes. Amen. 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 Isaiah 35, beginning at the uh, first verse of, of that chapter. Isaiah 35, 
and it reads out of the King James Version, the wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it. The excellency of Carmel and Sharon, they shall see the glory of the Lord and the excellency of our God. Verse 3, strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Verse 4 says, say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. We want to use for a subject, your God will come with saving power. God will come with saving power. Throughout the Bible, God has always displayed his saving power to his people. And if we belong to the Lord, God still displays his dynamic, delivering, saving power. Amen. God loves to demonstrate his salvation. Amen. His character, his being is to save people. Amen. Praise God. Oh, God is not some mean being. Amen. Looking to destroy us. But he's a loving God. Can I get a witness? He's uh, the kind of God that loves us. And it doesn't matter if nobody else loves us. I've discovered for my own self that God loves me. Oh, praise God. So, sometimes we have to convince ourselves that God loves us. But, but God will convince you that he loves you. If you keep living, he will show up and let you know, praise God, that you're not alone. You're not walking alone. He's right there. Praise God. Ah, sometimes it takes us a while to figure that out. Amen. But God is a God that will come and be with us. And amen. Because he wants to save us from whatever. Amen. Isaiah, the prophet said, behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah uh -huh. is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Isaiah 12 and 2. In other words, salvation is to save, oh, yeah. to deliver, yeah. to change hearts yeah. and minds and yeah. lives. And that's what God comes to do in our lives. Yeah. He, he comes to save us. Amen. From our own selves. Yes, yes, save yes. us. Amen. Yeah. From the devil. Amen. Yeah. Save us. Amen. From our riotous mindset. Yeah. Save us from our own behavior. Yeah. Preach, Pastor. Preach, Pastor. Amen. amen. I'm glad today uh, that God, amen, wanted to save me yeah. and deliver me. Yeah. Amen. Out of, from my own harmful self. Amen, amen, amen. I'm, I'm glad that God delivered me. Amen. From my own self. Some people still need to be delivered from their own self. Come on, Pastor. Yes, sir. Amen. Sometimes we're looking for the enemy, but the enemy can be you. Your own. Preach, Pastor. Preach, Pastor. Amen. Sometimes you fight your own self. Beat your own self up. That's right. That's right. Condemn your own self. 
Tell your own self, I ain't no good. Tell your own self, you be agreeing with the devil. The devil tell you, you ain't no good. And you, you right, devil. The show ain't no good. But thanks be to God. Praise God who came with purging power. Hallelujah, praise God. He know how to purge us. That's how he delivers us. Praise God. And so... God's business is to deliver us from the evils that pursue us. Evil is always lurking and looking for us. And his, he comes to save us from the evils, amen, that tracks us down. He comes to save us from the enemies that hate us. Oh, don't you worry. Don't go looking for them, but you got haters. Don't, don't worry. They're they looking for you, amen. You don't have to go looking for your haters. And God comes to save us, praise God, yes, from Lord. the things that destroy us. Uh -huh. Amen. And God saved Abraham from the Pharaoh way down in Egypt when, Pharaoh, uh, when Abraham told the Pharaoh that Sarah is my sister. Oh, he lied. He lied to save his life, but God was on Abraham's side. And you know when God, amen, call you and God touch you and God change you and God is in your life every now and then you might do a slip up. Uh -huh. But God won't cast you away. Can I talk to anybody? Up in him every now and you will do a stumble. But God, I'm so glad he's not like human beings. Praise God. One slip up and you all out of, amen. Right. Right. They don't even think about you anymore. That's Pray, right. Can I talk to anybody? But I'm glad that God yes, is Lord. a saving God. Yes, Lord. Uh, Abraham lied, but God plagued the Pharaoh's house. That's what he did. You better let her go. You better let her you go. Better let, go. Yes. Better let Abraham's that. wife go. Praise God. He plagued the house. Oh, he's a saving God. He saved Lot out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Amen. He rained fire from heaven. And God, God will bring you out some mess. He'll save you out from some stuff. Amen. He, he saved Moses. And he was right at the Red Sea. Praise God. Oh, and he saved David from Saul who was envious and jealous of David, amen, and because David was anointed, uh -huh. Uh -huh. amen, uh -huh. uh, I wish I could stay there just a moment, and if you, if you're blessed in the Lord and the manifestations of your gifts, amen, began to be fruitful, praise God, amen, somebody gonna be envy right. and right. jealous, can I talk to somebody in here, amen, and, um, but, but God knows how to deliver. Uh, deliver us from the envy and jealous folk. Ultimately, God sent his only begotten son to save the world from hell's destruction. There is a hell. Young people and sometimes old folk don't know. Let me pause and say this. Let, let me say this. Praise God. I, I said people, a lot of people don't believe in hell because if you believe in hell, you get saved. If, if you know what hell is about, Whoa, on, it's man. unquenchable fire. It's where the worms never die. It's where darkness is. It's where the demons and devil have a party. Amen. Down in hell, it's where no human should go. We ought to tell our young people that. In fact, you ought to be telling your neighbors that. Praise God. Uh, there is a hell. And so God sent his only... Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Oh, praise God. Yes, and so therefore we can experience salvation now because of the Lord Jesus Christ. God will come to save you. Yes. And his saving power is always present in every generation and is present today. I'm glad that God don't quit saving. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah. We give up sometime, but God... Don't ever give up. Amen. He's looking for the least less than the lost right now. 
He, he's looking, amen, for the rejected and the ostracized and the put down and the put out right now. Amen. He, he's looking for somebody who's lonely out there, praise God, and need his presence right this moment. Uh, God will come with saving power. The first thing I want us to understand is God's saving power changes the circumstances. His saving power changes the circumstances. Praise God. You better get this. I said his changing power changes the circumstances. Praise God. Isaiah said, in the wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them. Them who? The people. And the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the road. That's a changing situation. Amen. And it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing, singing praise God. In other words, God works behind the scenes in the lives, amen, of his people. I'm glad. I'm glad about that. Amen. We, we don't know. We don't always know how God is working. We, we don't know, amen, when God will work that thing out. And we don't know where, praise God. But God is always working behind the scene. Can I get a witness out there? When you think, praise God, you're all alone and you just about to give up, God is working that thing out. When you need him that very moment, praise God, he knows when to come. Not only that, but he knows who to send to help you. I'm glad God sent folk. Anybody been sent? Amen. Somebody who encouraged you and give you a word of hope. Amen. Somebody, amen, who, who helped pick up your spirit. Amen. When you were down and out, somebody called you. Somebody saw you. Somebody spoke to you. Amen. Somebody touched you on your back. Somebody, amen, amen. Somebody went through what you went through and said, you can make it because I made it. God came for me. He'll come for you. He did it for me. He'll do it for you. I'm glad God to send folk. That's right. Don't you count nobody out. That's right. Praise God. You don't know who he going to send. That's right. Hallelujah. Them folk you don't reject, praise God. The folk you don't even open the door for. You better give it around my house. Don't save people. You better watch it, praise God. You don't know who God's going to send to help you out when you need it the most, praise God. Hallelujah. You better, not, you better not ignore anybody and everybody. Sometimes we might ignore angels on the way. Better quit looking for them all got it together people. Uh -huh. You help them or you won't help that old raggedy oh, joker. That's right, Pastor. That's right. Y'all better, oh, glory oh, to God. Yourself. I know what I'm talking about. You're talking right. Hey, I'm telling you, you better help everybody. That's right. It's God, because you don't know That's who's right. going to help you Ooh. when you need him the most. That's it. Oh, God is always working behind the scene and the invisible God will show up. In such a way that you'll know that is him. I wish I had time to go through all of that. But God will show up in a way that you know that if it wasn't for him, that, if, that, that God show up in situations, praise God, before it exploded. Before you lose control, before it gets out of hand, God knows how to show up. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and we use the term... Amen. When we know that God has showed up, nobody but God. You know he doesn't show up now. When you know mama ain't did it, daddy didn't do it, sister, brother, the preacher, the priest, the pope, praise God, the prophet. Ain't nobody did it. Amen. My haters couldn't do it. Praise God. My dislikers, amen, my rock doors, they didn't get it. Listen, God. Nobody. That, that's why. I love to praise him. Some people don't love to praise him, but I praise him for the little things. Oh, uh, he's the invisible God that shows up. And, and when we see the ordinary becomes uh, the unordinary, you know that God is working a change 
in your situation. I ain't going to stay that long, but, but, but you know, you got to know when God shows up because when, when the common becomes uncommon uh -huh. and the usual becomes unusual, the impossible becomes the possible, when your misery becomes a miracle, you know God yes, showed up. Am I talking to anybody? When, when the doctors shake their heads and say, I don't understand, praise God. What I saw is not there anymore. I don't know how you made it out. I thought you would have been dead by now. But God, I'm talking to anybody up in here. You don't know how you made it through whatever you made it through. You've been going through some stuff. Wasn't just you and the doctor, but God was in there. That's right. Praise God. And so God knows how to show up and change things. Isaiah explains it by saying the wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for the people. Jesus. The desert shall rejoice and blossom at the rose and joy and singing. God can change the circumstances. I'm going to move on from that because, listen, when you're sad, God can bring a joy back. Yes. Anybody been down? Yes. Listen, anybody been moping around? Uh -huh. You mope around a long time, but, and you lost, you, you lost your mojo, amen? <laughs> praise God. You lost your praise. You couldn't even praise the Lord. Your hand go by that high, amen? <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> you know? but, when, but, but when God lifts your burdens. Yes. You, you wasn't afraid to, yes, can Lord. I talk to anybody, yes, praise God, up in here, hallelujah, praise God. I'm telling you, God can change it. God can cause the spiritual dead to come alive. If you meet God where God wants to meet you, praise God. You can't be dead anymore. God's going to make your spirit alive. He'll give you boldness and courage to speak up and witness for him. Can I be real with this praise God? He'll take away your shyness. You'll find yourself shouting. You'll find yourself praising. You'll be walking around in your house praising God. Walking out in the yard. You don't care if the squirrels hear you. Can I get a witness in there? You don't care who come by. You got to praise for the Lord. I'm telling you when he changed things. He changes for the good. He changes for the, those that are oppressed. He gives relief. Praise God. Those that were depressed, he causes them to overcome it. I'm talking to somebody. Those who've been discouraged, he gives encouragement. Those who've been disappointed, praise God. He lifts them up and gives them joy again. Hold on. That's what he is saying to everybody. Hold on just a little while. Praise God. I'm on my way. I'm coming to rescue you. I'm coming to save you. I'm coming to deliver you. Praise God. I'm, I'm glad God is like that. Second thing I want us to understand is not only does God use his saving power to change things. Change the circumstances. Changes the outcomes. But God uses his saving power to strengthen us. Amen. He doesn't come just to change you. He's not going to change it and not strengthen you to remain that way. Amen. Some people change and then they get weak to the, after the change. Because they won't study the Bible. They won't get around the anointing. They won't get around God's people. They won't come to church. Praise God. They're they sick of church. But God doesn't deliver them. Praise God. You better get around some anointed people, some Holy Ghost filled people, some people who love God, some people who are not ashamed to praise God. Amen. I don't want to be around no sad, sappy, quiet, no talking. Amen. Condemning, judgmental people. I want to be around somebody, amen, who know the Lord, who can get a prayer through. Hallelujah. Who talking about Jesus? God Almighty. Amen, 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 amen. Don't come around me all beat up, praise mm. God. Because I just got beat up. I need some people who done overcome some stuff. Tell me how to make it. Hallelujah, praise God. And so when God comes, he gives us strength. Praise God. He wants us to be strong in the Lord. 
Don't tell me you strong down and can't take nothing. <laughs> Don't you tell me you're strong and you can't take nothing. <laughs> Praise God. You can listen. You can take the negative and, and turn it into a positive. If you're strong now. Listen, let me tell you, let me tell you, if they ain't talking about you, you ain't doing nothing no way. <laughs> huh? If they ain't judging you and condemning you and hope you fall and hope you fail, you ain't doing nothing. Praise God. Anybody can be a critic. All a critic do is sit there and say, yeah, it ain't. I wish they, you didn't make me sick. What you do? You better not do nothing because they're going to criticize you. You ought to sit down. Don't tell me you're strong now and can't take talk. Praise God. Let him call you out your name. I've been called all kind of names. As a preacher. <laughs> they always call me preacher. Praise God. Can I talk to somebody? When I was in the world, boy, I've been a lot of things. They call me a lot of things. And when I got in the Lord, they called me a lot of things. But one thing they, will, they were afraid to call me. The anointed of the Lord. They know that when they call me that, praise God, that God was going to show up. So they tried to get that from me, praise God, but they didn't give it to me. Oh, let me move on. Uh, his saving power strengthens us. As he said in this particular pericope, strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Isaiah's message from God to Israel was to cease being afraid of what they see. Or know about their surroundings. Stop being afraid of what you see. What you know that's around you. If you know him, he got your back. I'm telling the truth. See, I learned how to pray. I learned how to pray. You know, you ain't got to be up in your enemy face. You, you, you do, do it again. You, you ain't got to do that. You ain't, you ain't got to be up in your enemy face. Lord, fight them that fight me. Lord, trouble them that trouble me. You ain't got to be, you, you ain't got to be pointing at nobody. Praise God. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. That's what God is saying. I'm going to give you some power. Praise God to strengthen you. In other words, God was telling Israel, his people, stop trembling. Stop shaking like leaves on a tree. Believers got power. But what we don't know is the power we got. Amen. We use, watch this now. We, don't y'all run me out of here. But you, we use the devil's power more than the Lord's power. We, listen. We're good at judging and condemning and whining and complaining and bickering, you know, and putting each other down. That's what the devil does. The devil don't want you to make it now. Praise God. And so we're good at that. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Praise God. We're good at being negative and critics and criticizing and putting down. We good, amen, stomping folk when they die. We're good at that. You, you shouldn't have done it no way. That ain't the power God gave the church. Praise God. Amen. He has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and power and the sound. That's your power. Praise God. Amen. 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 So he gives us saving power for, to strengthen us. God called, uh, he called us to be strong. In other words, God was telling Israel that, you know, stop trembling and stop being shaky and stop being afraid because God was saying, I cannot show my glory in weak and fearful, shaking folk. How you serve a God can do all that and you shake it. Oh, oh no, we... God said, I can't get no glory at your scary self. 
Amen. How you going to run the devil? We, you scared of the devil. Let me move on with that. You can't, my God, let me move on. Uh, he says, I can't use weak, coward folk. Amen. Fearful, shaky folk. Isaiah, uh, God told Isaiah to say to them who are of a fearful heart, be strong and fear not. Tell them, Isaiah, tell them, don't be afraid. Don't be of a fearful heart. Be strong. Fear not. And then he tells them to strengthen your, your weak hands. And the, the indication is that the people who were God's people, he says, your weak hands are the ones that are standing around doing nothing to help themselves. Yeah. Strengthen your weak hands. They weak because they ain't doing nothing. Amen. You can't get strong just sitting there. Amen. But he says, you're going to strengthen your weak. Your weak hands means that you're going to do something to strengthen your own self. A lot of people waiting on other folk to strengthen them. But God is telling you and you and you and you, strengthen yourself. Don't you wait on the preacher. Don't you wait on nobody else. You better get down in Nebo Valley. And you better learn how to call on the name of the Lord. You better get to know God for yourself. You better pick that word up and read it and apply it to your life. Praise God. You better get the Holy Ghost and you better be anointed when you face the opposition. Strengthen yourself. Do something. Praise God. You got to work on your own. You work on your own self and find out where you're weak at. People don't like that area. Child, I ain't weak. I got it. I ain't nothing wrong with me. Yeah. That's the very thing wrong with you. You think ain't nothing wrong with you. That's your problem right there to start with. Something wrong with all of us. You may not have discovered it yet, but something wrong with you. Don't you fool me. Something wrong with all of us. Praise God. I'm afraid to be around them people. Ain't nothing wrong with them. Because ain't no way in the world you've been born of a woman. If you've been born of a woman, something wrong with you. Job says, a man born of a woman. Praise God. His days are full of trouble. Something going to happen. Something wrong with you. Something going to happen to you. Something wrong with you up here. Something wrong with you in here. Something wrong with your physical self. One of your foot bigger than the other. If ain't nothing that's wrong with you. Praise God. Something wrong with you. Don't you tell me. One of your arms longer than the other. You better. Oh, oh my God. Lord have mercy. Don't tell me. Tell somebody else that. Praise God. Something wrong with all of us. Confirm. Confirm the feeble knees indicated that that they were coward to the enemies. Confirm the feeble knees. The feeble knees were weak knees. I'm going to get at you in a minute. The feeble knees were weak knees and they were trembling knees. And they were weak because they were afraid of the enemy. Amen. And we don't need, God don't need no weak knee. Believers. Amen. God needs stand up for right folk. Righteousness. Praise God. Don't be afraid. Amen. Praise God. They might want to run you off, but be right. Do right. Amen. Praise God. The reason why bullies pick on scary people is because they show their fear. Some of y'all used to have bullies pick on you. And y'all, y'all walk all the way around the playground. Y'all wouldn't even walk that way. Y'all know it. Y'all see me. There you go. There you go. Some, some of y'all went to, went to school with lunch money and you saw the bully and you wouldn't give it to him. Yeah, I know you coming for it. Hey, 
We run hungry all day because you wouldn't face your bully. The bully knew you scared. The devil know when you scared. You have to talk back. You have to talk back to the devil. You got to use the Bible. You know, that's what Jesus did. He talked back to him. Praise God. He stood his ground. Praise God. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. You got to talk back biblically. I rebuke you, devil. I command you. I demand you. I'm blood bought, devil. I'm blood covenant. Praise God. I'm sold out. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm an overcomer. Praise God. I've been redeemed. I belong to the Lord. You got to talk to him. Praise God. I'm, you got to tell him I'm washed in the blood of the crucified lamb. You got to tell him that Jesus is Lord. And I command you. Oh, don't be afraid. You, you got to talk back to that bully. Amen. God uses his saving power to strengthen us, to deliver us, and to defend us. Last thing I want to say, praise God to us. Amen. That God's saving power uh, delivers us out of our dilemmas. Deliver, uh, delivers us out of dilemmas. We get in a dilemma every now and then. Let me pause. Amen. I got I got a minute. Listen, every, every now and again, now y'all don't have to hold your hands up, but every now and then, our mouths puts us in dilemmas. You. Many of us, we, we talk ourselves in trouble. Then you got to talk yourself. <laughs> yeah, talk yourself out of trouble. That, that old thing in that old mouth. David told the Lord, he says, cover my mouth. Cover my gate. Make me hush. Amen, amen. Anybody ever pray that, Lord, I pray today that you hush my mouth. Anybody, y'all ain't, y'all ain't, y'all don't pray that. You guide my tongue. Praise God. Hey, you, you, you know, if your mouth getting you in trouble, you need God. Praise God. Amen. So we get in our own dilemmas in life. Praise God. There are things that we, we get our own selves in trouble with. Amen. Praise God. But Isaiah said, your God will come. He will come. This, the good news is your God, our God, God will. That's a promise. He has fulfilled those promises, in our, that promise in our lives. God has always showed up. And then he, then, then Isaiah said he will come with vengeance. And so when we get in trouble, or even we don't get in trouble, if you learn how to hush your mouth, you won't get in too much trouble. <laughs> Proverbs tell us that. Just, but, you know, James tell us that. Amen. It, it, you know, and all of us got that. We, all of us talk too much. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, all of us talk too much. Yeah. Y'all don't like that kind of thing. I'm going to tell you the truth. We talk too much. I know I do. I talk too much. And then be twisting and turning. I shouldn't have said that. I ain't know why I said that. Some of us got to take sleep pills to go to. I, I shouldn't have told her that. It's wilding all night long because you done said something. Y'all know, know I'm telling the truth. The other thing that God comes to, you know, uh, deliver us out of our dilemmas is when, when the enemy comes. So when, in other words, he says, the, the Lord says, uh, Isaiah says that the Lord will come with vengeance and, and recompense. And in other words, if you ain't doing nothing, you're trying to live the best you can. Nobody perfect, let me tell you that. But you're trying to live the best you can and folks start aggravating you. 
Folks start getting on your nerves. Folk intentionally trying to bother you. Folk, folk trying to agitate you, praise God. Folk trying to, you know, they, they're trying to make it hard for you. They, they're trying to frustrate you. If the Bible says God will come. With vengeance. And recompense. He says, vengeance is mine. I will repay. God comes to save us out of our dilemmas. That's a mean folk in the world. Praise God. They done got, they got mean a four years ago. Y'all catch that in a minute, amen? Praise God. And so, Israel was the apple of God's eye and he was, they were the redeemed people. I'm here to tell you that if you, if you are redeemed, you belong to the Lord. God has promised to defend us. Amen. He wanted to defend them. And he says, I will come and save you. I will come and deliver you. I will come with vengeance. I will come and recompense you. Canaanites, the Canaanites, and amen, the Jebusites, and the, you know, and the Malachites, and amen, the ones who fly kites, and all of that. Praise God. He said, I come with vengeance on them. They bother you. They bother you. Praise God. I'm going to bother them. I love God about that. Praise God. They bothering you, I'm going to bother them. Let me move on with that, praise God. Uh, put your trust in God, not humankind. Psalm 146 and 3. People will let you down. Put your, God won't let you down. Praise God. The Bible says, vain is the help of humankind. Praise God. Psalm 60 and 11. Amen. And you know, you, you can, don't you trust everybody and anybody. Amen. Don't you lean on them. Praise God. The psalm, the, the hymn writer says, I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but I wholly, I, I completely lean on Jesus' name. You better trust the Lord. Blessed is the person that put their trust in the Lord. God will deliver them. Praise God. Amen. Whose hope is the Lord? Jeremiah 17 and 7. Amen. I'm glad, praise God, that we can have our hope and put our trust in God. Amen. You got to learn how to get folk from around you and learn to be independent, trusting only in God. I love friends. I got some friends. I got about, I got about two friends. Yeah, yeah. Some of y'all might get, have a little more than that, but I ain't around about two, two, two and a half. Amen. Amen. The rest of them perpetrating the fraud. See that y'all don't make me say something I ain't got no business say. I'm trying to tell you something, praise God. Everybody ain't your friend. They might act friendly. You better not trust them all the way. Because they're going to turn on you. They're going to be, you know, a, a, a sister like that. Now you friend. Now let me go on. Y'all know we love to whisper in each other ear. I'm talking too much right now. Let me go move on. Praise God. I'm just trying to bring out the truth. You better not trust everybody. Stop telling everybody everything. Hey, Amen. You know, the other day I had to slap my own self into my butt. You shouldn't have said that. Come on, man. Take that back. You know when you say it, you know when you can take it back. Yeah, there. You can slap yourself all, over, all you want, but it's gone. Now you got to explain. Yeah, all of that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm finished. Listen. Uh, God's saving power, his deliverance power is always at work in his people's life. His saving power. His he, he delivers us from the dilemmas that we create sometimes and that are created. I'm gone, you know. But that's when you know the Lord. Everybody in here doesn't mess up. You know, you got, you got a lot of people now, not in here. Now, you got a lot of people live everywhere else doesn't mess up. But they ain't gonna, they, they, they ain't want you to know they doesn't mess up. They want folk to think that they've been all that. 
Special us in the pulpit. You know what I mean? I'm talking about preachers. Yeah. Them old duck, ducking preachers. Anytime you see a preacher going on like that right there, <laughs> pray for him. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Lord, have mercy, Jesus. That's why I stay in my yard. I stay in my yard. Stay in my yard. You talk about me in my yard. That way I stay in. I stay in my yard and the church yard. There go my wife right there. I stay in my yard. I be walking around in my yard. I mean, they're crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy all right. <laughs> Y'all the crazy one. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I stay in my yard. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm finished. I'm finished. Stand still and see the salvation. Don't you do nothing. You just let God do it. Praise God. Let me read the scriptures to you so you'll know what I'm talking about. The battle is not yours, it's the Lord. Second Chronicles 20 and 15. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. 1 Peter 5 and 6. David says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Praise God. Bible says, if God be for you. Good God Almighty, who can be against you? Romans 8 and 28. Praise God. I'm here to tell you, God is at work. Still saving and delivering and defending those that belong to him. Uh -huh. Amen. Trust the Lord with all thine heart. David says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Praise God. Who? Amen. Shall I fear the Lord is the strength of my life. Amen. And whom? Praise God. I trust the Lord. Amen. There's a little song that uh, the, o the O'Neill twins used to sing. I want to sing a little bit. I know the brother can help me out with that. Okay. Amen. And it says these words. I can't let a day go by without praising his name. I can't forget from whence I came. I can't let a day go by without counting the cost. Oh no, I can't let a day go by without praising his name. Let me say it again. I can't let a day go by without praising his name. Oh, no. I can't forget from whence I came. I wouldn't let a day go by without counting the cost. Oh, Lord. I can't let a day go by without praising his name. Listen. I've been through the fire. I've been through the flood. Like a good soldier, God knows I've been tried. I've got a story that's got to be told. God is still, still on the throne. I can't let a day go by. I can't let a day go by. Thy praise in his name. Praise we can't forget. I can't. I can't let a day, can't let a day go by without counting the call. Oh Lord, I can't let a day go by 
without praising. Let us stand. Listen, I can't keep it to myself. I've got to run on, run on, and tell somebody else. This is what I tell them. I tell them, hold on and be strong. Oh, God is still, still on the throne. So that I can't let a day go by. I can't, can't let, let a day go by. Without praising his name. Without praising his name. I can't forget. I can't forget. From which I came. From which I came. I can't let a day let a day go by without counting the call without counting the call I can't let a day go by without praising his name praise the Lord praise the Lord Father we just thank you for being our God no sir we can't let a day go by without praising your name because we won't forget from whence we came. We're holding on. We're holding on. And we're telling others to be strong. God, we thank you. That you came and saved, and saved us and delivered us. That you are, our, you are our defender. Our keeper. Our sustainer. You change our circumstances and conditions. We thank you. Thank you, Lord, for being the ever present help in the time of trouble, God. You brought us out so much trouble. Help us, Lord, to help our own selves. You're with us. You said you'll never leave us nor forsake us. Help us to strengthen our hands and confirm our feeble needs. Move the fear out of us. Help us to trust you. To press toward the mark of the high calling. Move the fear out of the way. In the name of Jesus. Help us to operate in faith. By faith God. In the name of Jesus. Help us to operate in your power. In your word. Because you are going to back your word. With your power. Praise God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. God give us the strength. In the name of Jesus. We believe. We trust. We trust your word. If God be for us. Who can be against us? We thank you. We ask now God that you bless and keep and help and heal folk right now. Somebody needs your presence your power your saving power your healing power your delivering power your changing power all of us need you in the name of jesus oh god strengthen us where we are weak and all of us have a weakness help us not to run from it but to face it and strengthen it in the name of jesus have mercy, we pray. Have mercy. But most importantly, God, we thank you for sending your only begotten Son. That whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That's our strength. That's our hope. That's our belief. That's our trust. That's what we depend on. Bless us now. In Jesus' name we pray. And we thank you. For what you have done, is doing, will do. Because we trust you. You've proven yourself over and over and over and over and over and over again. That you'll never leave us. Nor forsake us. So we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. We ask that you be seated just a moment. We want to invite anybody 
who wants to join the church today, if you had that in mind, uh, we want to uh, make room for you to do that, to join this church family called St. Stephen today. We ask anyone by way of virtue to do the same thing. If you're interested in St. Stephen United Methodist Church, amen. We ask that you come and get in contact with us, 803-243-3162 is my number. Amen. Don't scam me now. <laughs> Call me for real. Call me for real. Don't scam me. Praise God. That's a business phone. Praise the Lord. Anybody want to get saved if they have not confessed the Lord with their mouth and believe in their heart that God raised Jesus from the dead? For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, we confess unto salvation. Amen. Anybody hadn't done that yet, we give you an opportunity to do that before the people, before the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. We're going to, we have our communion today. We ask that you be patient with us. Amen. Amen. Be patient with us. Just a moment. Be patient with us. You have your packets before you. We would do this in short form today. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for these gifts of bread and wine. that symbolizes the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray now that you make be for us the bread and the wine, the body and the blood of Jesus Christ, that as we partake of it, that we will remind ourselves of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done, that he gave himself up for us, shed his blood that we can have remission of sins. God, thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Open, open. On the night in which he gave himself up for us. He took bread and broke it. And gave thanks to you. Gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat. But this is my body which is given for you. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, and gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the remissions of sins. Do this as often as you shall in remembrance of me. Feed on the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart by faith. And may he preserve your soul and your body unto everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Oh, the blood gave. Christ died on Calvary way back. I get it right. I get it right. On Calvary. Oh, the blood that gives me strength from day. Oh yeah, today he will never lose his power. Oh, you know.
what it does? Well, it reaches to the highest mountain. Yes, it does. Oh, and it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, yeah. Oh, the blood. That gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose. Yes, 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 yes. You know it reaches. Mountain. Yes, it does. Oh, and it flows, it flows to the to Lord. Lord. Oh, that's what it does. Oh, 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 the the blood, blood that gives me strength. strength. Oh, from down. Let me say it again. It will never lose. It will never lose. Can I get one who is out there? It will never lose. It will never One more time. I said it will never lose. It's power. It'll never lose its power. Glory, glory. Miss Burton, you getting ready? You ready? Woo! Nothing but the blood. Hallelujah. Never lose, never lose. You wash, wash it, wash it, wash with it every day. Wash it, wash it, wash it. Pray again. Blood, just one drop. One drop, one drop. Praise the Lord. Glory, glory. on my heart and to ask that y'all go on this journey with me. I want to dedicate this journey to two of wisdom members. Uh, Brother Daniel Eastall and Brother George Field. Now, I didn't know, I wasn't around Brother Daniel Seastrunk that much because when I became the chairperson of this committee, um, he started to be ill. Uh, George, Brother George Fields, always been the person who I've always saw to be the first. Well, when we have a, a program. But I do know this by just sitting over there watching Brother Daniel Seastrong. He had a lot of wisdom. I could just tell by being around him. And Brother George Field had a lot of wisdom. 
uh, I know both of them. If I had gone to them and asked them a question, they would give me a sound answer. And it wasn't an answer off the top of the head. It was an answer they will be giving me from here. Whether I like the answer or not. But I feel they were that, those type of people. Uh, I've been thinking about going on this journey last year, but we weren't in the church. Uh, so what made me really decide to do it this time? is because I was in Walmart and I was looking at all the Christmas decorations. And uh, I came to a little section where the wise men, the nativity scene was a little smaller section. So I saw the uh, nativity scene, I said, I got to have that. And there were two signs of uh, the wise men were on both of them. But when I look at the first sign, I say, I have to go on this journey. Because it's something about the wise men. Now, we talk about Jesus all the time. And we're not going to ever stop talking about Jesus. Because right. he's the reason for this season. Right. But I think the wise, three wise men was important to Jesus back then. I think they played a big part back there with Jesus. Um, I want to take you on this journey, and I want to share this journey with y'all, because when I look at the, the three wise men, I can drive by and see the nativity scene and the three wise men on someone's lawn. And it's something about it when you pass by. When I have two nativity scenes, well, three now, at my house. And when I put out that nativity scene every year, and I look at even the livestock being that stable, it's something special about those livestock. Because they, there will be no animal will uh, experience what those animals experienced that night. None. It's something about them. When I touch them, take them out of the box, it's something about them. When I take Mary, Jesus, and the baby out, it's something about them than any other decoration in my house. When I take the three wise men out, it's something about them. They, to me, they were gentlemen, they were educators, and they believed in God. And by believing, mainly believing in God, because they went to worship Jesus. Unlike King Harold, they went to worship Jesus. And if they follow a star, God put that star in the sky for them to follow. So it's something special about those three men. Now, I don't know how many went, but it says it was three that gave gifts. Now, I'm going to read chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. And they call themselves Magi. And we call them king. I prefer wise men. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Hell, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where's the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw a star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people, chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of the Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will be shepherd of my people Israel. 
than Harold Carl Magi secretly and find out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and make careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshiped him. Then they opened their treasures and present him with gifts of gold, incense of myrrh, and having been warned in a dream not to go back to Harrow, they returned to their country by another route. Now, the, uh, I bought two signs when I went to Walmart, bought two other signs, and that made me, I had to go on this journey. The first sign was Holy Night, and it had the picture of the three wise men, the star, and the words, Holy Night. So, now with uh, the distance they had to travel, When they traveled that distance, they was traveling on <coughs> camels. Now, to travel on camels, and they had to travel hundreds of miles, and to travel on camels back, it would take them a long time. So it said in the Bible that when they got there, Jesus were no longer in a stable. He was living in a house with his mother and father. So they brought him gifts. The gold represent kingmanship and acknowledgement of Jesus' priesthood. Frankincense is an incense and a symbol of godliness, and they use it to anoint people. Myrrh were used for burial and embalming. Also used for anointing also. Now, the second sign that's what really drew my attention. That's really drew, drew my attention. And it had the words, wise men still seek him. Wise men still seek him. Wise meaning having wisdom, showing common sense, having knowledge or information. Seek mean to locate, discover, search for, to find or look for. Today, those words still, that's what it is today. Wise men still seek him. We still seek him. Now, how do we seek him? We seek him through praying, worshiping him, praising him, and the most important thing, the Bible. That's how we get to know him. And in order for me, us to know him, we need to seek him, read the Bible, worship him. Now, there's hell, there's heaven. Now, if we wise enough, which one would we want to go to? We would want to go to heaven. We want to make heaven our home. So, in John chapter 14, verse 6, it says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So, therefore, we have to seek him. We have to follow him. Now, at this time, I will sing a song that I wrote. And a few verses. There's a star shining brightly tonight, and it's shining in Bethlehem. There's a star shining brightly tonight, and it's shining 
in Bethlehem. There's a baby boy was born tonight, and they name him King Jesus. There's a baby boy was born tonight, and they name him King Jesus. And that is why my soul cries out tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And that is why my soul cries out tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. There's a baby boy was born tonight, and he came to die for our sins. There's a baby boy was born tonight, and he came to die for our sins. And there's a star shining brightly tonight, and it's shining in Bethlehem. Do you see that star shining brightly tonight, and it's shining in Bethlehem. And that is why my soul, my soul cries out tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And that is why my soul cries out tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. There's a star shining in St. Stephen, UMC. This, this is our star. This is our star. Let's follow it. Thank you, and I will turn it over to Reverend Carr. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Burden. Amen for the journey. For the journey. Thank you for sharing sharing that with us today. Amen. Beautiful and fitting for uh, this time of the year, of course. Thank you for that song. Yeah, that's a beautiful song. Yeah. You go, girl. That's yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. Amen. Don't throw that away. Keep that. That's right. That's beautiful. We can do something with that. Uh -huh. yeah. That's right. Thank you so much, Sister Burden. And God bless all of you to um, all that have served so faithfully today. Thank you, Sister Staley. Bless you, uh, to, um, Praise team to the musicians, the minister, uh, Clemens. Amen. Kenneth. Amen. Minister Kenneth. <laughs> Put emphasis on that. <laughs> Clemens. Amen. To, to Devin, to Brother Sistrum, to our ushers. God bless you for serving so faithfully yes. today. To all ministry. media ministry. Thank you, yeah. Miss Carter. Amen. <laughs> for from the media ministry to Angela and her committee, amen. To all that are serving the Lord in their yes. prospective amen. places, amen. God bless all of you. Let us stand. God bless you. Well, this joy I have, you know the world did give to me. Oh, this joy I have. World didn't give it to me. Oh, this joy I have. You know the world didn't give it to me. You know the world didn't give it to me. And the world can't take it away. Oh, this love I have. You know the world didn't give it to me. Oh, this love. 
the Lord bless thee and keep thee. Yes, Lord. May he make his face to shine upon thee. May the Lord lift up his countenance yes, to thee. May he bless your going and your coming. May he be your shield and buckler. May he be your defender. May he sustain you and may he supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory. May he bless your home. May he bless your children and your children's home. May he bless your grandchildren and their homes. May he be all that he is till we meet again. Let everybody see. Amen. Everybody see. Amen. Everybody see. Amen. God bless you all.